Those Armel, Coddle, and Carl on the Sand King. What is the kind of other hero that we have to look for uh, on Fnatic? Is it you know, one hero in particular help kickstart this game and, and push the tempo? He usually will be the Beastmaster who can swing Jabs might go down top. Oh, yeah. oh, oh <laughs> Jabs. And DJ's also in trouble. DJ does TP down. Nothing crazy, worked. but... It did work indeed. It's Kuku is almost solo killing Jabs. Wymon's able to come through, but the sucky suck. And now Carl has the far burst. A quick and easy one-two punch. Gets rid of Genuel's life. Now Kuku... Oh. Might be expended as the right. sharpshooter from downtown as DJ, a well-deserved tip, puts him on the board. You don't even need your dragon form. You don't even... And Sand King, like Sandstorm is pretty much everything, too. Like, Epicenter is important, but Sandstorm is, like, all your damage. So it's still a little scary, I'd say, for Fnatic to force it. Hey, my run into Armel is going to be quick on the TP, but Gabby... Has the avalanche in the nick of time. Now the rest of the team can fly over the tree line. They're setting up for the rush. Need a way to cancel a blink on Sanking. That is priority number one. Yeah, it feels like this could be really scary for Fnatic. There we go, Cuckoo's jumping on Cuckoo. He's trying to give them the information. Carl charging up the epicenter in. They go ripping apart the life of Jabs. But that was a lot expended just for the Beastmaster. So maybe Raven can have a stable team fight. Sanding his ground inside the pit. Gabby's going to charge on four. The Tiny under the cover of the Spirit Vessel. But with Carl follow up, it's enough to get the kill. But Bro still, shot. Fnatic, they haven't dealt with the Keeper of the Light. His Armel just dishing in bursts of damage from the sidelines. But an exceptional Fiend script. Is counted out the last second thanks to DJ and Fnatic. They are not done just yet. On to Whitemon they go under the T1 tower. A five man wipe by the river as Fnatic show they have what it takes to battle T1 early. And you got Deso stacks, right? So Raven did get four stacks up now. Well, they want a beta fight. Coming out to maybe protect the wards. They do have sharpshooter if required. But the Spirit Vessel may be all they need. Wymon trying to give a little bit of health back. Nightmare Dodge too early. Zephyr tried to predict it. Now this should be easy pickings for the first Roche. Oh, that was, that was really well played, honestly. Just decision making from Fnatic on point. Like, first time they fight around the Roche pit with the ward. Second time they fight around the ward. So they get these BKBs and then maybe they can hit back. How close are they get getting them? Okay, relatively close. Yeah, Ooh, I just... <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's... Armel's doing way too much damage. I think I'd like that, actually, from Zephyr. You know, he really wants his lens, which he's about to have. Maybe right after it, I think he does need that gem. It's just like, there's too much. There's too much vision. It's traps, it's hawk. It's just these wards that are coming out in Fnatic, just looking to continue setting the tempo. Look at this. Potential toss back into the epicenter. That'll be first life taken care of. But Gabby, he did pop the BKB for this. So they've expended a lot, but they're still going to try and follow up for round two. There's a beautiful time drag and tell from Cuckoo will make sure there's no opportunity for a BKB. But Fnatic, can they turn this back around? The Raw holding Gabby into place. And Nightmare buying him a little bit of breathing room to make it back to the safety of the high ground. But Radiant is still chasing. It's Fnatic. They're not done just yet with the Tiny. They'll take care of Gabby's life. Now they're looking at Cuckoo as well. It's all up to Wymon to try and provide a little bit of extra health. But Cuckoo still will be killed off with ease. It's Fnatic. Why not even go for a plus one? Zephyr, they will be protected thanks to the throne in the T4 towers, but Fnatic, well, they've got what they've came for. Oh my god, look at Armel go. He's just free casting. Oh, they're going more? <laughs> no, getting, that's not a safe tower. place. Tower's going down, and yeah, that's that BKB that you mentioned from the Tiny getting popped early. It, I mean, they've been in the ass for sure. Armel just free casted on him. Whoa! Oh, dude, what is this damage? <laughs> Like we're speaking, uh, Tiny's been a broken hero for quite some time. We often speak about how he can destroy buildings and one-hit people, but Armel is proving that he is a, a different sort of damage in the magic, and he's just tearing people apart. He's just going to lose the fight to him completely. And this is a the pretty cool angle. Oh, no, the creeps instant BKB from Jabs, and I think you might just have to cut your losses and let Wymon die. 
I'm still thinking about charging up the epicenter. Paimon's gonna end up going down, but T1, they're still sticking around. They feel like this is an okay fight, even the numbers disadvantage. Gabby, they don't even kill Jenny. Oh, wow. They don't even burst the Weaver, but they're onto the Templar Assassin. Epicenter doing mass amounts of damage, so Raven is killed off, but they haven't gotten rid of Armel. All eyes on the Keeper of the Light to see how we can turn this fight back around as a blast from downtown. Kills off Zephyr. Cuckoo's back in, eyeing up jabs. Carl with the follow up as well, but now Carl, he's coming into the middle, and Armel's doing God's work. Wicked sick. Gabby's without a BKB. They've even got the boomerang for good measure. Continuing to chase, continuing to hunt, but a buyback's out. Zephyr still has the Fiend script, but they've got the bushwhack. An instant cancel. And Armel protected from the BKB, he escapes in the night time, and the buyback all for naught. I think they really are just understanding how this is everything for the game. And you're under a ward. You're gonna lose your advantage now if the Eric Cole oh. jumps in. No! The epicenter completely wasted. Now this is all Fnatic's fight. But do you charge in the river, Fnatic? Playing patient. They know they have time on their side. Another ward drop. Paimon would hate to lose the gem. It's actually given Jesus over, but it doesn't God. matter. Yeah, Hoodwink is something to fear as Gabby. Look at the backstab. Have confirmation. Cuckoo's going to jump straight to the Weaver. Gabby, simultaneous initiation. They're on to jabs, but Aurora holds them back off to the northern side. Raven's doing the dirty work. Cleans up Zephyr with the Bane. And now Gabby also trades a one for one. That is the Beastmaster's life. That is Gabby the did have to Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's back in. Lotus Orb out at the same time. They're going to try and blow up the Templar Assassin. Raven protected for the Lotus Orb. Now they're targeting down Carl on the river. And they're still unable to deal with Armel. A TP out from Gabby will be successful along with Cuckoo. But you've completely given away any hope of defending the pit. Right, they can't burst him. They can kill the beast, but they have to expend too much. Let's go. Gabby jumps in, but a toss. Off the mark, not a lot expended, although, well, maybe the life of Cuckoo. Not even a hope to pop wow. the BKB. Is no buyback on the Dragon Knight, and this full set of barracks, I don't know if they can defend it. Yeah, T1, you can see, I mean, Carl knows, he's just, he's been doing this for like five, six minutes now. He's just continuing to pump fake the up B. I have to jump before they get set up. So is a threat of Gabby with the backstab. Almost 25, Cardle. Ooh. Double Lincolns and Lotus Orb. This is no... It's always overlapped in protection. They're going to try and jump. Cars in with the epicenter. It's a decent amount of burst, but Raven stands his ground. And now Jabs will hold back Gabby through the BKB. And... Well, that was their attempt. They blew well, everything to try and get rid of the first life. DJ just literally one-shotted the bug. <laughs> there we go. Cuckoo back alive. They're trying to deal with the first life, but Armel just giving him so much help. The blast! The blast! It killed off Carl. It's always been Armel's game from the laning stage to the end. It's alright, they got 1%, I believe. 1%. I believe in the 1%ers, Gabby. Awesome, the T4 tower, but Raven no messing around. Instant BKB in turns for the Bane. A sharpshooter. Does more than two thirds of the health to the Dragonite, so he's back inside the base. It will call up in 40 seconds, but that's going to be a long 40 seconds as Gabby, oh, Gabby falling lower and lower. A decrypt to try and give him some time. A BKB won't be a possibility, and it'll be fanatic. A really, really clean game one performance as Armel shows that. His cuddle, it's up there with the best. I mean, flawless performance from him, right? He had the one death. We've seen T1, you know, they have played the Necrophos at a very, very high level. We saw the game with Fnatic. Don't feel like that was required. And you know, Cuckoo picking up at the second phase. But yeah, T1 are very comfortable with it. But he will be Ooh. under some pressure with the rotation down from DJ. This is a good move. This is a needed move, it feels like. And I'm still waiting to find our first blood. And Zephyr's going to give that one over to Raven as the Arc Warden. Thank you very much. A mass influx of gold. Seeing that be an issue right now. Once again, Cuckoo down bottom. He's got the scythe this time. I'm not going to wrap all the way over, but doesn't get the connection. Oh, Jesus, that wrath of nature. 
taking Cuckoo down to half. It's going to get a little bit of bonus health wow. back, but it doesn't matter as Fnatic. The poke from afar gives them an easy kill, and now they're eyeing up Zephyr. The stuns are lacking, so it'll just be the kill onto the Necrophos. Anything you can get this early game when you've got this this super greedy draft, like anything you can get, as we see. T1. Starting to set up for their farm here. It's gonna get soaked from Top the other lane. side. Jabs. Jabs is gonna go down. Okay, so Carl, that was not even coil used. It looks like the overgrowth and back to the triangle. They've been DJ. able to cut away the tree of DJ, so Cuckoo will find his first Reaper Scythe charge of the game. There's Armel. Well, he's looking to get involved in the action. Stepping in along with Januel. They have Raven too, so Cuckoo, very tanky. We see how difficult it is to kill off the Necrophos. But can they punish Fnatic from overstepping the boundary? It looks like they'll run into the Weaver to the north. So that would be Gabby with the finishing blow. Shadow Blade on Tiny is going to work out perfectly to catch out these, you know, this Nature Prophet, this Arc Warden, or even this Invoker on the side. It's, it's tough. I'm going to run into Zephyr. I'm um, going to find some more earned charges. And... Maybe when they have to fuse on everything, and once they all group up, you can see these team fights happening. But yeah, for the next few moments, it's going to feel a big slowdown for them. Well, they might be able to kill off Wymon. A cold snap to be able to cancel the TP, so the Pokemon is by full be expended before the rest of T1 are able to show up. Things have changed once, you know, it's like everything's getting closer to TI. People are being more careful, but here we go. Fnatic, they're smoked. They've got a really good ward on the higher ground to give them information. They're going to move to the north by the outpost. Nice Overgrowth will hold them back. They're unable to lay down the Wukong for some control. Gabby's going to try and continue to retreat, but meanwhile, it's just all their ultimates laying down as they're just in the meat grinder. Jazz will try and BKB TP out. They've already lost two back in the front of the pit. The Arc Warden's been caught out. He's trying to stand his ground. He'll get a kill after the death, but... Oh, it's only on a position five. Such a worthwhile trade for T1. Now we see this net worth lead just continuing to balloon in their favor, and they should get another pick off with the coil available on Carl. And this is pre blink. This kill should give him the blink. So, oh. Carl, will they? There they go. Yeah, he doesn't have the ultimate, so. I was finally be able to run into the bug, and there we go. Dominating streak, Carl 4 0 and 4. Yeah, to actually do stuff. Jabs, get out. Get out. They've got overgrowth, so there's no hope of a BKB TP. He's still going to go for it, but Zephos stalking. And they wouldn't even need it. They will not even need the overgrowth as Jabs is killed off. But Fnatic, they want the fight. Okay, I mean, this is bold. I don't know. Not without Jabs. Let's see how they can start this. A double boundless into the Wukongs. They're trying to focus down Gabby, who's falling lower and lower. The last isn't him. enough. And now Cuckoo, he's soon to be killed off as well. Fnatic taking the team fight with a numbers disadvantage. But Fnatic, they show up huge, taking away two lives and almost stirred. But what was that? Wow. I mean, that was very unexpected. Well, the, the Orca was actually the first item he had queued up. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. In again goes Gabby. They have no medallion. Tiny, not the best clear for it. So they're going to look for a gank, potentially. They see Armel in mid. DJ, he smoked. Oh. Gabby. Close back. DJ in the river. No escape as they find another scythe kill. Cuckoo, four charges. Back to Roche they go. Jabs. There's oh, a ward. On bottom? Yeah, four they took a ward. Jabs. There's not much you can do. Here. He's waiting. Yeah, he's, he's just stalking on the tree line. And again, there won't even be a, a threat of the overgrowth. They've done way too much damage. And Jabs is just on the duty of trying to split, push out the map and delay for as long as possible. AC finished up on the oh, Carl again. again. What a player. Dude, he's... Oh, let me and he gets the, the Yules. Timing. And okay. he gets the silence. Dude, MVP. Relax. MVP of the game. Jabs for a little while, 15 seconds without the Nature's Prophet. Carl's on him. But they might have caught him out. Bottom lane, Carl is going to move down with the help of Zephyr. Coil dropped if required. And there we go. Comes into play as Jabs tries to stand his ground to potentially kill off Zephyr. But they don't even have the damage. Now back to the river. Gabby. Oh, it's a huge catch. Onto Armel's Invoker. And now they've also ran into Raven. A BKB looking to stand his ground on the high gun. Beating into Gabby, but White on the medic, making sure there's minimal damage dealt into Gabby's tiny. It's fanatic. Multiple buybacks, but they will get nothing out of it as T1 robbed them of everything.
Open for well, we were you know the question was given as well the what well, the end of the panel asking how long this game was gonna go for it's it's always a question mark when you're against the Arc Wardens but what's going on bottom lane okay Nate just grab has been caught out well it's been jabs as well the entirety of the game to try and make space and try and split push the map but his life will be cut apart as cuckoo. Another charge. Oh, the comms must be so rough on Fnatic. Yeah, you at least have a buyback on Jabs, so it is back and available. I'm sure they're talking about just like... Oh, that's a sick word. Oh, the grab. Gabby Ward! Oh my lord, that combination onto two. They just walk together hand in hand and they'll join each other in the grave. Multiple buybacks are out for Fnatic. They need to get something out of this. But again, T1? They just walk away. They Too much gold to know to Okay, let's see. Zeph is in prime position. A double boundless white one behind. No fight, are they gonna kill? They're gonna kill. 20 plus minutes. Oh, never mind. Gabby's just gonna brute force this high ground. I'm out. Oh, waiting. Okay. They get the instant hex. A lot of damage. Why one off to the side, Gabby? but still they've blown up Gabby. Tiny's killed off. Now they're on to Cuckoo. Castle trying to provide as much chaos as he possibly can. Cuckoo with the ghost shot, protecting him for the duration, trying to juke to the right side of the fight, but Carl again, in he goes. White Mon's got one now too, though. I think he bought another one for the Pugna. Okay. Oh, no. oh, they're actually Zephyr. taping into top. The bots. Bots too. The boots of travel. Armo instant BKP, but it's not going to matter. Overgrowth and coil. Everything they would desire to lock Armo in place. They're already hunting for more. They're trying to capture any stragglers, but Fnatic, they're out of the area. Maybe a 4 to 1,000 net worth lead. It might not be as much, but it's so much gold they go over earlier in the game. Let's see. On to high ground. 40 seconds. Play this one. This is Ooh, a bit rushed. They could take first. Okay, tree's going to be clean. Zephyr, nicely doing instant use to the side. No messing around from Cuckoo. Wants to put the Monkey King in the grave. He doesn't have a buyback. Now further inside. Oh, that was going to be forced to buy back. Drawn to Cuckoo. A lot of damage to the Necrophos, but Gabby follows up. Inside the base they go. The BKB oh, can man. stand his ground. There's no answer. This cleave is all they would need is Gabby to shred them apart. Buybacks are lacking. They get one out of the Arc Warden, but a two on five. And there's the dieback from several different heroes as Gabby finally gets to play after dying before. And yeah, they can close it out. Just being Felt like it was a long time coming, but wow. <laughs> yeah. What a very performance long. again. Got the Flame Guard level one, which from the changes and all that, it's become a little better versus Necrophos level one, as you can absorb the first, you can absorb the first pulse now. You couldn't do that in the past. So other little changes, you know. One more right click. With the slow from the snake. Oh, oh white baby. one. <laughs> Licking his lips, he finds first blood and T1 are on the boy. Look, what is happening? Are they chasing creeps? <laughs> Carl's trying to bring <laughs> the lane. <laughs> like he's trying to meet the wave. His know. remnants? His remnants just timed out. It just timed Wait, out. He's gonna die from this. They oh. still have the brain zap. No way. Oh Multiple my. tips flowing out as Armel gives over the fourth death. And, and now bottom. the bottom we go as jabs. And a couple more right clicks, but DJ with the sustain will keep Jabs healthy enough. So now, yeah, it's... I'm not sure who helps Raven. Oh, we're seeing Raven under a little bit of pressure. Cuckoo does have the reinforcements soon to show up, but Cuckoo's rolling thunder is back in the arsenal. He'll bounce back off the wall. Raven, really nice side steps, but it just buys enough time for Carl to get involved. Scythe is out. Arena fall from Jab, so he can step into the middle of the fight, controlling three, but the damage, it's there to take the life of Carl. They okay. even get White Bond along with it, so biting off a little bit more than they can chew on T1, diving the T1 tower, and they will be penalized for that attempt. To find his catch up farm, but down to bottom we go as DJ there with Jabs. But they do have the relocate potential, but with all the stuns flowing oh in in quick succession, they're gonna give it another scythe kill to Carl. He's up to three charges now. Oh, it's no. so early. Delaying into a Dusa though, right? <laughs> Scary. Yeah, yeah. Scary for yeah. sure. Even though you have your IO Drow, you have the Drow counter in a way versus the Dusa with an IO behind. It's this Necro is just huge. Level 12 on Carl. Reaper's back. 
they're hunting, but it's gonna be a big fight. Oh, nice silence. They'll be able to kill off the tree protector before the fight breaks out, and meanwhile, jabs run straight to Cuckoo. This is an exceptional start to the fight for Fnatic. They will lose the life of jabs. Carl's gonna be able to get another side kill for the Raven. Standing his ground, beating to Gabby, who will force back Genuel. is gonna end up ticking out to the Spirit Vessel, but now they can turn their attention over to the Necrophos, diving out of the T1 Tower as they buy back on the bank, but to no avail as Carl gives up a streak over to DJ and Fnatic. Another fight going their way and a T1 Tower. Oh my, Gabby, Gabby. 18, got the Grow Bow as well, so all ways to buff up the Medusa. It's just easier to farm. Man, like Manta on Medusa, you just Manta send it down waves. You, you just naturally farm so fast. 306 last hits on Medusa, 213 on Drow. Genuel? Well? Genuel. <laughs> it's a tough life sometimes. So we're going to try and get coming. to the area. Scythe is out. It's enough to get the kill of the Tombstone. They're trying the to focus it down, but off the side, the Fiend's grip. It's out onto Jabs. He doesn't have an opportunity to get the arena out before he dies to BKP, but it will not matter. Now they're onto Raven to the eastern side as Carl and Cuckoo. They recognize their job surrounding the Drow, forcing out a BKP. But that will only be used to make it away as T1. What a play from them. And this could open up Roche. There's Gabby and Cuckoo. They're both in the pit. With a relocate. Even though they didn't know who was on high ground there. Like, they just force an engagement. That they are. Let's see, can oh, they get Carl? Doesn't have behind. And dying nowhere, all of Raiden are. They're well aware that Carl has no backup. A Lotus out. This took off the Yules to be able to play with. Jab's gonna fly over the tree line to offer the extra control. And Carl gets the Yules at the last second. But can they stand their ground to protect him? Carl will be killed off. Cuckoo trying to do with the backline, but the Rolling Thunder will provide nothing as the TP out. He's okay, but now this might give a sign for Fnatic to continue on for more. Just aggressive smoke in quite some time. 25 on Mars. Oh, look at this. Armel's going to see Carl. I think he might have actually just been out of range. Jabs. The jump. Instant jump. Onto the Bane. A quick and easy kill. Armel's going to look to fall up and provide some more chaos towards the back line. Jabs with a fresh spear. shot. Pins the Necro up against the tree. Whiteman's going to fly over. Trying to lock them down with the overgrowth. But there's no extra damage throughout the duration. They're trying to focus him down still. Carl's falling lower and lower. They will kill off the Necrofoss. Meanwhile, throughout the river, Raven duking to the northern side. has been able to avoid Gabby. He's going to blink on back. forward. A beautiful nightmare. Raven's in trouble. They're teeping behind him. They need a way to be able to protect Raven. That's where Jabs putting his body on the line with the bullet. And now Raven turns it back around. They're locked onto Gabby. Pins him up against a tree like a piñata. It's Raven doing God's work. They're on to more cuckoo. Suck on a cliff. Well, that's not the position you want to be in. It's Fnatic. Fine for I don't know how they keep doing it. Oh my. Okay. Uh yeah, Cliff. Just pop the prize, so a full set of barracks. Look at Armel's gold now too. After one successful fight, like one huge fight like that, he's up to 8k gold. Jabs Ooh. had just finished 25 before that fight too. And Jabs has the Lincolns too, so they have look at their look at the cores now. They have double Lincolns on the Ember and the Mars. Genuel. The Raven is a 25. Up the higher gun, Cuckoo instant rolling thunder. Look get rid of the life of the undying, but look at Armel, the recognition to try and deal with the backline supports. Jabs once in and he does just that! An arena controlling the entrance into the fight. So T1, they have to get creative on how they're able to get on top of Raven. A second arena to the west, just giving Raven ample time to be able to beat onto Cuckoo. A rolling thunder completely wasted. Swashbuckle down to the Jabs. low ground, but Armel, godlike streak. They're back over. Carl gets a side kill, but it will not matter. Die back onto the pink lee. It's only the two survivors, Gabby and Carl, limp out to safety and fanatic again. Another successful team fight and waste the arenas. But as soon as those beekeepers expired, you've got second arena, oh. and now you've even got ages for free along with the everything else you could potentially want. Wonder and if Jabs he's is considering ready. a oh, the harpy. What Gabby just bought? Look at it. Okay. Look at it. Look at the oh, harpy. Oh no, dude, no. Jabs 
Onto the Medusa, an instant nightmare. Cuckoo's gonna look to fall for the second arena, but the men are, it's being look burnt, the health is being burnt as well. Ravage is freely seizing on the back line. Now buy Gabby's back. gonna look to buy back to rejoin the fight. Fnatic, they need to get out. They need to avoid the Medusa. She wants revenge, stone gaze into the middle, jabs, limping away. Look at the bulwark, look at the healers, jabs, it's not even dead just yet. Zephyr's trying to blink to the back line, but Raven, Gabby's in the middle, a BKB, Gabby, they need to be Gabby. able to prevent the marksmanship block, but once again, pinned to the tree, they're gonna focus the Medusa, she just pulled back, if she She's dies, done. that's game! Oh Gabby's God. gone! Fnatic have such a huge window to take this game and potentially the series! You... And yeah, 80 seconds though, Dusa. Yeah. It's go time. Two minutes on Aegis. Now, oh, the hobby again? Nerf this creep. Get it out of Dota. Don't make it this busted. As Fnatic and another pick off, and now they're diving tier four towers. Cole he's not as tanky as what he was prior in game three. He'll make it back to the safety of his fountain. Okay, a Fiend's Crypt, it's a long enough duration, but Armel doesn't even die throughout it. They're lacking the damage without the do so four gone, no buybacks, Ravens onto the throne. And Fnatic, what? What, what was a, that? What a comeback. That was an, I mean, it wasn't like <laughs> out of realm's reach with this like 9k gold lead, but it was really starting to feel it. But man, that was, such like such good plays about recognizing how to take fights and like jabs his buyback around that mid fight it felt like that was everything